Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 13th of June. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the key features to look out for. Please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces. Now this week begins with Mercury, the planet of talk and thought, returning to one of the two signs, signs that it influences of Gemini. Now if this rings a celestial bell, it's because this happened last on the 30th of April. But due to the retrograde, it reversed into the sign of Taurus on the 23rd of May. Now, of course, that retrograde ended on the 3rd of June. It came out of shadow on the 4th, but this could help us to gain a little bit more clarity around some plans which may have seemed to have been somewhat bogged down. But I still feel that clarity is going to be at somewhat of a premium this week. Now, there is, of course, the strawberry full moon on Tuesday in the sign of Sagittarius, which is, if you like, the higher knowledge. The sun is opposing the moon in Gemini, but actually forges a really constructive link with Saturn all through this week. So if we go through all the processes in a very thorough way, we can still inch forwards. It's just that Neptune, the planet of dreams, of spirituality, but which can be a swirling, misting influence, which can distort, well, that's in a T-square with the full moon on Tuesday. So over the next couple of weeks, fact can be stranger than fiction. So we need to use Saturn's sobriety, really, to check things out, and also Mercury's precision, and also make sure we're keeping the lines of communication open as clearly as we possibly can. Now, from Thursday through to Sunday, Venus in its home zone of Taurus is forging a quite beautiful sextile to Neptune. If you're lucky enough to be having a conversation where you can really feel that you're on the same wavelength as someone else, there could be some kind of spiritual connection or someone could be very generous. It could be through a gift or it may be a thoughtful note or text message which can really lift our spirits. But please stay with me for each of those 12 zodiac signs. But if you would like to ascend above this zodiac broadcast and understand how serious astrology can impact on your personal situation, if you give me three pieces of birth data of time, date and place of birth, I can give you a roadmap that can guide you for the rest of your life and also a 12 month forecast. If you get these two together with my special package, you can get 30% off. Please see the link beneath this video. And if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be delighted if you did so now, please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. If you're someone who's already subscribed, thank you so much. Capricorn, your week commencing the 13th of June forecast sees your ruling planet Saturn, though now retracing its steps in house two, very much to do with life's foundations and everyday money, but also self-worth, in a very solid link with the sun in house six, where we help others, where we work on life organization. So you could find that uh, a thrifty approach to your financial affairs, for example, can start to really render results. Also, Mercury moves into your sixth house on Monday. So your attention to detail can be boosted by those two influences. What's more challenging, perhaps, is the full moon, which occurs on Tuesday, because that's in house 12, very much to do with our subconscious, the psychological part of life. So over the next couple of weeks, what people say to you, or what you read, even little messages going around on a, a WhatsApp group, or perhaps on Facebook, could have a bit of an unsettling influence. And yet, Neptune, as much as it can cause this distortion in the T-square it has, with the full moon and the sun actually forges a quite divine angle to 
Venus in your sector of romance and play. If there is a conversation or an activity or a relationship you have where you can be very much yourself and just flow, then there could be a really lovely connection to be made this week. But I just think when it comes to balancing your psychological, emotional and spiritual well-being with the more worldly and practical and tangible side of life, I just think you, you are going to be just that much more prone to other people's uh, voices, points of view, influences, and that could have a little bit of an underwhelming influence upon you.